And what do you think you might be? I'm going to be a boat rider. A what? A boat. Oh, you're going to have a boat. Kitterick's carousel was right around, right about there. Uh-huh. You're right. Yeah. And the bleachers were over here. Before KTRK signed on the air in 1954, the FCC assigned the TV station Unlucky 13 as its channel number. So it was only fitting that its mascot should be a black cat. When station managers noticed young Bunny Orsack applying for a job in their lobby, they immediately knew she would bring them good luck. Willard Walbridge and uh, Howard Finch called me into the office and said they had seen me and thought that I looked like a woman that would, could dress up like a cat. And I thought they were crazy. And, I thought, and they said, but you come in a bathing suit and, and come back tomorrow. I came back and so they decided that I would put on the leotard and the mesh hose and get the tail. And my mother made the original, well, she made the original head, but <laughs> she also made the cat hat. How did they come up with the name Kitterick? They had a contest, and a lot of people sent in all these different names, were ridiculous names, but all kind of names. And this woman who was an artist sent artwork that had KTRK with an I in between each letter. So we thought that was a really good idea because it could promote KTRK as well as my name, uh -huh. and they called it Kitterick. Kitterick's daily children's show was an immediate hit. It really was the place to go when you had a birthday, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was very popular, so uh, we had the birthdays as well as all the other things we did. We had a policeman to talk about safety, and, you know, there are a lot of things that we tried to incorporate to teach the children without me preaching. And then we used the puppets a lot for that. And because Kitterick was produced live. They say the kids say the darndest things. Well, they did. <laughs> what have you been doing? Getting ready. There was one that I said, what would you like? What are you going to be when you grow up? And she said, a call girl. And I thought, oh, a tele you work for the telephone company. That's good. <laughs> Was there a trick to always having the perfect cat whiskers? I could put those whiskers on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for so many years, you know, and I, I can't, I'm serious, I could, I could do those. What did you use? An eyebrow pencil. I thought I'd be tattooed if, after 16 years of doing that. Kitterick was also like the ambassador for the station. Talk about some of the things that you were able to do uh, in that role. One of the most gratifying things is to go to hospitals. Uh, I went to many hospitals and saw children that were very ill. I would cry when I'd leave, but I, you know, tried to make them happy when I was there. I can imagine you were there for a lot of Houston uh, openings. Do you remember Palm Center, yes. one of the first shopping centers in Houston? Well, they were doing an opening in December, it was around Christmas. And so they had me go, go to do the opening and they had Santa Claus. So we came here and got in a helicopter, no sides of the helicopter. And it was cold and you know, the leotard was <laughs> cold anyway. I got so close to Santa Claus, I'd never met this man before, but I was hanging on to him because, I mean, it dropped over here, you know. <laughs> So I was freezing. Channel 13 started in that other building over on Cullen, as you mentioned. Yeah. What was it like to move into this building? Oh, we were so excited. I mean, it was like the most beautiful place we'd ever seen. You know, we had the swimming pool. We had, oh, it, it was luxurious after the other one <laughs> on Cullen. <laughs> I bet no other TV station around had a, had a swimming pool and a, a domed stadium. No, they did not. Poor Channel 2 and 11. We outdid them. What was it like to work here back then? Oh, it was like family. In 1974, after a 16-year run, Kitterick's show was canceled. 16 years, more than nine lives. Capital City Broadcasting bought Channel 13. They were budget conscious, and to put on a local show with an audience and that many cameras and so forth, was expensive. They replaced me with uh, reruns of 
leave it to Beaver or somebody. Tell us about life after Kitterick. Oh dear, well I've done a lot. Um, I started in an advertising agency at first and, and, and it was quite successful and I moved to New Mexico, to Rio del Sur, New Mexico. And I had a pottery shop and then I retired, kind of. <laughs> kind of. I, I stay busy. Yeah. I go to yoga twice a week. I'm going to be 88 December 2nd, so you can hope that I last another nine years. <laughs> so, but you know, I've had a really wonderful life. If you had to tell us something, what would you want your legacy to be? Actually, I am so grateful. And it's so gratifying for people to remember me. It's been a long time. And I guess I brainwashed them because <laughs> people still ask me for pictures and you know talk about it. And so to me, the fact that they remember on a positive note, that really makes me happy. How does it make you feel to know that you touch so many young lives? Well, it makes me very, very happy. It really does. And that famous black cat suit? Well, until recently, there were frequent Kitterick sightings at charities and other special events. After one such event... We were going to have refreshments or something, so I go put on my street clothes and leave my cat suit in my little suitcase in the dressing room. Well, I picked it up and went home. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't put it on that often anymore, so... But when somebody asked me, to do that, uh, I went back to the little bag that I carried it in, and someone had taken the hat, the head, the cat hat. But you know, if I could go buy a leotard and some mesh hose and put on some heels, <laughs> I'd have to hold my breath until I passed out to put on <laughs> leotards now. For ABC 13, I'm Dave Ward.